finished. He just figured out I'm here, I think. I don't know if there's something wrong with him. Hey campers, George here. Yep, sun is shining. Minnesota, can you believe that? It's taken long enough. Uh, we had snow yesterday and of course we had the blizzard over the weekend. So I've been stuck at home, it's been killing me. So the sun is out, it's a day off and I thought, why not go out? Pack my stuff up and here I am. There's still a lot of snow on the ground, but hey, it's a day out. So join me. Let's go. Here you can see him at the edge of the river, Cannon River. This is actually a river access point for people who kayak and canoe down here. And you can get out here and picnic or whatever. There are campsites. But like I said, a beautiful day. One thing that does surprise me is how murky the water is. Kind of surprising. I don't know if you can see it, but I was thinking of trying out my fly rod to see if I can catch anything. Maybe I'll just enjoy the day. No, I'm going to fish. I don't care if I don't catch anything. I've been waiting. <laughs> Fresh tracks leading right up there. Look at that. Resting in the snow. Unperturbed by the fact that I'm here and I wasn't really quiet. Huh. How about that? Amazing. He just figured out I'm here, I think. I don't know if there's something wrong with him, but he's just sitting there, looking at me. Quite happy. Trying not to look at him so that he doesn't feel any stress by me being here. Wow, pretty cool. This looks like a good spot to just set up by the water. And I'm seeing things in the water. Not sure what they are. I think they're little ones. I wonder. But I digress. I think I'm gonna make me a little camp table right here and make me some lunch. A view like this, huh, you can't beat that. Decided that I needed a fishing pack and I pulled this out and had a look at it. It was my best option, I think, but it's not quite doing the job I wanted to might be a little bit too big and I do have a Serbian uh, rucksack, a smaller one, backpack that I might try as well but right now I'll be using that have my clean canteen in there some food, cooking stuff and a top my video stuff and a survival bag little kit with a knife and things like that in it so it'll do for now until we can figure out a better way to get smaller you know my problem on that right <laughs> so let's see what we have for lunch today in my backpack I had uh, my gas stove it's my uh, pocket rocket with a gas burner and my lunch that I packed. Let's see what we got. Hmm. 
we have some olive oil and I want to show you guys a little trick if you suspect something is going to leak you can put the container in a plastic bag and put the lid whoops dropsy again and put the lid on the outside and the plastic seals it and you can wrap it in the bag if it leaks it leaks into the bag aren't I the smart one <laughs> So some olive oil. What else do we have here? Some potatoes covered in spices. And we have something else in here and I might need to, oh I got it. Let's see here. And some mushrooms, onions and peppers with some salsa as well so it looks like potatoes mushrooms onions and salsa and some pepper that'll be lunch some olive oil in here let that get warm Then we put the onions in and grill them a little bit. And then we'll put the potatoes in and warm them up and mix them all together. Some salsa on top and that would be lunch. <laughs> a good day, a good day. Now I just got to eat. Listen to that sizzle. Hey, <laughs> a good day. Yes, sir. The birds are hanging around just here in the trees. Everybody's enjoying the sun. <laughs> Whew. Smells good. Check this out. Can you smell it? <laughs> Lemon and garlic spices, orange peppers, onions, mushrooms, potatoes, and salsa. in the greatest kitchen in the world. And here we have the taters mixed in. All we have to do is get them nice and hot. The olive oil helps to brown them. They were pre-boiled. I chopped up uh, two medium-sized potatoes into small squares, boiled them for a bit, and then uh, dunked them in some spices and a little bit of olive oil. And then we'll put the salsa on. Good. <laughs> Good. 
That's what I'm talking about. So my uh, camp kitchen includes this um, little frying pan that I got on sale at Cabela's. It's the Sea to Summit. It's not bad. The only uh, downside to it is you can't use it on an open fire because the handles will melt. But it works great on the pocket rocket or anything else, the little gas burner you have. Extremely light. You can put something in it and flat against the back of your pack or something. Works great. I'll put a link to it so you can have a look at it and see what you think. I do know. I'm a good cook, man. Well, time to head out. Let's hit the road. That away. Well, almost back to the car. What a beautiful day today. Sun is shining. The snow, except for animal tracks, I think I'm the only one who left any tracks here. You can see me going out and coming back. That's it. The rest is animal tracks. Amazing. Can't believe anybody's not been out here. Huh? Well, I see my trusty truck. A good day in the woods. A very good day in the woods. Well, campers made it home safe and sound. What a day. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. You know the story. And if the sun keeps shining, I'm sure I'm going to see you again. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs>